I always loved biology and genetics and um, realized that plant breeding and plant genetics was a way to combine love of biology with an ability to make a big difference around the world. When I began working on Pepper, we did all the kinds of surveys and um, inoculated plants. We've had sick plants and healthy plants. Um, we were able to refine the genetics so we knew that there was a gene involved. And within the last year, I got to put on my three-dimensional glasses and see a model of the protein that that gene encodes and the consequences of very specific mutations we've defined very carefully on the actual appearance of that protein and its ability to function in the plant. So it was really a thrill to um, see, you know, up close and personal, the difference that a particular change in that protein can make in the outcome of, of infection of that plant. Well, one of the wonderful things about the genus Capsicum, which is the genus that has pepper, is it's very, very diverse. And in fact, that's one of the very interesting things about vegetable breeding in general, is we have tremendous range of, of diversity, morphology, color. Um, and so in the case of pepper, you, you can sometimes find what you're looking for very quickly, and sometimes it's a long, long, long search. Sometimes it's a search that never yields results. Um, so one of the exciting things about plant breeding is the surprise. Um, another exciting thing is that often um, nature creates combinations that I couldn't have imagined. And so my job becomes easy then, simply to select um, a combination that appears to be a winning combination, even if I don't entirely understand how we generated it. We bred a jalapeno pepper, perfect jalapeno, just perfect was about 100 times hotter <laughs> than a regular jalapeno. It had disease resistance, it looked fine, smelled fine, and it would just about kill you to eat. That one is on the shelf. Agriculture is the dominant land use globally, so we know that changes in agriculture will have a huge impact on our global environment. So um, people with this training um, find themselves in a whole, with a whole array of possible ways to contribute to improving the lives of people all around the world.